Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagupare. In this video, we will study about hydroboration oxidation reaction. This is one of the very important reactions in chemistry, wherein we can convert an alkene to an alcohol. This particular video is based on a jam question, which came in the year 2022. So the question is, uh, which is the major product? So the re reaction sequence is given and then uh, a list of products are given. And uh, what we observe in this particular uh, question is, uh, it discusses about, uh, it shows the products as a set of uh, stereoisomers. So, and also uh, here it is not given as BH3, rather it is given as BD3, where D, th D is the uh, heavier isotope of water. So all otherwise, it is a simple hydroboration oxidation reaction only. So we will discuss hydroboration oxidation reaction and then we will solve this problem and find out which among these is the correct answer for this particular question. So let's start with hydroboration oxidation reaction and what is so significant about it. So when you talk about hydroboration oxidation reaction, there are two uh, stages to it. The first step is hydroboration reaction. The second step is oxidation reaction. And I have put a, a reaction where we can also make alcohol uh, in the presence of an acid catalyzed reaction. So uh, when you see this particular reaction, uh, we see that we get two propanol as per Marconic of addition. Or rather, we when hydroboration oxidation is done, we get one propanol. So it looks as though the product uh, had followed a anti-Marconic of addition. So we will see what happens in hydroboration oxidation. And uh, these uh, two reactions are very comparable to each other because when you talk about uh, acid catalyzed reaction, uh, there are other parameters like the intermediate carbocation that is formed and then rearrangement happening and the stereochemistry and regioselectivities are different. And so if you are interested in seeing that, you will have to see another video which is already uh, uh, uploaded in this particular uh, channel for you to understand this particular reaction better. Now let us see hydroboration oxidation reaction, how this reaction happens. So first and foremost, um, as I told you before itself, uh, the products look like a anti-Marconic of addition product. So according to Marconic of addition, we all know by definition that the negative part of the addendum will add to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atom. So whenever you are having a double bond uh, that carbon atoms, between the two carbon atoms, the one which has the least number of hydrogen, in this case, this is the hydrogen atom. Uh, this is the carbon atom that has the least number of hydrogen atom. So in case of uh, hydroboration oxidation, H2O is added. So OH minus and H plus is going to be added. So as per our Markovnikov rule, uh, we know that the negative part of the addendum will add to the carbon atom having the least number. So that is why we got two propanol in the earlier example where we saw propene addition reaction of propene. But in hydroboration oxidation, what we see is it is an anti marconic of product. So uh, just by looking at the reactant, we can directly predict what the product would be. So between the two carbon atoms that we see, the carbon which I have ticked is the carbon that is having the least number of hydrogen atom. So the addition happens against Marconic of rule. So the opposite is what uh, will be the answer. So uh, according to Marconic of addition, negative part will add to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atom. So anti Marconic of means the negative part will add to the carbon atom having the most number of hydrogen atom. That is why we see in this case, the OH has added to CH2 group. Likewise, in the subsequent uh, reaction here also, we see uh, we get a product where the OH is added to the CH2 group. And uh, we, we must see for uh, very importantly, an important thing here, there is no rearrangement happening. Unlike in case of acid catalyzed uh, reaction, of alkenes to alcohol, definitely any reactant would have resulted in the rearrangement of this particular carbocation. But here we do not see any rearrangement. So the most important thing that we must remember in case of addition reaction of diborane is 
first the addition product looks as though it is followed antique marconic of addition and number two no rearrangement happens now coming to solvents this is one of the important uh, things that we must keep in mind when we are discussing hydroboration reaction so diborane is the so, so reagent that is used in hydroboration reaction because we know from the name itself we are talking about borane and then thf that is tetrahydrofuran is the solvent that is used and this solvent is used because we do not want borane to become diborane and this diborane is highly flammable toxic and explosive gas so we do not want borane to dimerize and cause unnecessary harm to the reaction mixture and so uh, tetrahydrofuran is added to uh, you know to mask or prevent the formation of diborane so tetrahydrofuran actually is behaving like a um, lewis base and we know borane is a lewis acid because it has the capacity to accept a pair of electrons because it is having only six electrons in its valence shell and so it can take two more electrons so it behaves like a lewis acid so tetrahydrofuran donates its pair of electron to diborane to form borane tetrahydrofuran complex this is also called as a charge transfer complex so this complex is the complex form of borane which undergoes reaction in our hydroboration re oxidation reactions so what happens to the overall reaction so the overall reaction this is the first stage this is the second stage so in the first stage borane reacts with an alkene to form an alkyl borane the alkyl borane then reacts with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of sodium hydroxide to form alcohol and what we must keep in mind in this particular case is um, the uh, way in which the reactions are happening so the first step or the first stage of hydroboration oxidation is the addition of borane to the alkene so this addition of borane to alkene happens in a concerted way when i say concerted way the bond making and bond breaking everything happens simultaneously so from the double bond the electrons are donated because borane is lewis acid so the electron movement happens from the double bond to boron and as a result the bond between boron and hydrogen breaks and hydrogen attaches to the uh, carbon on the sec uh, on the other side so this particular reaction ha happens simultaneously that is why we have a structure like this so bond breaking and making happen simultaneously and so this mechanism is called as a concerted mechanism and unlike in uh, the reaction of uh, acid catalyzed reaction of alkenes here it is a transition state so as soon as this state is formed it results in detachment of hydrogen onto the carbon uh, which is uh, less substituted and then the diboranes the remaining uh, boron and the two hydrogens are bonded to the carbon atom on the other side so this particular reaction uh, happens this way one uh, it is to prevent steric inhibition and then uh, when we are seeing this particular reaction we know boron is actually acting like a lewis acid in the sense it has a partial positive charge and hydrogen seems to have a partial negative charge so as a result in uh, in both the cases uh, we we see here um, Uh, it the addition of hydrogen and boron to the double bond of carbon appears like marconic of addition so marconic of addition what do we say the negative part of the addendum adds to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atom in this case this is the carbon that is least having the least number of hydrogen the one that i have circled is a carbon that is having the least number of hydrogen atom so addition of borane to an alkene actually happens by marconic of addition but the product looks like anti looks as though the addition has happened by anti marconic of method but actually it is following the marconic of method only 
So that is the reason why here you see uh, this uh, particular adduct results in the formation of this alkyl borane and this alkyl borane has the groups that is added that is the hydrogen and the boron uh, attached hydrogens to the same side that is why this addition is called as syn addition okay. So, uh, what we must remember is addition reaction to alkene is a concerted reaction. Addition happens in a way like Markovnikov addition because the negative part of the in borane which is hydrogen is attached to the carbon atom that is having the least number. And this kind of addition happens in order to prevent steric inhibition that is the reason why boron also adds from the outer side and not from the inner side and as a result this kind of addition which is happening on the same side of the bond is called as syn addition. Now let us see the formation of alkyl borane. So when you see the formation of alkyl borane it is simply this again here also what we must remember is here in this case again the double bond is here there is a hydrogen that is there, there is another hydrogen to the boron and then R group. So, here also you have the bond breaking and bond making and you result uh, and it, it this results in a group like this. So, together we see this particular group is another R group. So, you can abbreviate this borane like this R, R and H. So, that is what is shown here in this particular image also. So, in this picture also what we see is uh, boron then the newly formed alkyl group already present alkyl group and a hydrogen. Now, this group will react with one more molecule of the alkane. So, in total we see we on the three hydrogens of borane can be replaced by R group or in other words addition of borane results in three alcohols or three molecules of alkenes are bonded to form a trialkyl borane. Again if you want you can also see here I am again going to draw boron and show you how the adduct happens in case of the third substitution. So, again we see there is a bond breaking here and then there is a bond. So, this group can be written as CH3, CH, CH3, CH, CH, CH2. This is the parent and then the newly formed hydrogen goes to the carbon that is highly substituted and then the boron and the R's are on this side. So, this particular group, this complete group is the R group and that is why you write, that is why you write R, B, R and R. So, this is called as trialkyl borane. So, this is how trialkyl borane is formed. And the second stage is oxidation stage. So, the oxidation stage makes use of hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide. So, hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide uh, reacts and leads to the formation of this peroxide anion. This is very important. This peroxide anion is the one which actually undergoes reaction. So, if you see here in this particular case, like I told you in the previous slide, trialkyl borane is formed and then the peroxide attacks the boron. So, the you get a tetrahedral intermediate and then slowly what we see here is there is a rearrangement happening. So, the R group of one of the R group in borane shifts position and then it forms the OR. So, all other places it is R and on this side it is OR. So, this OR is what is called as a borate. So, when BO bond is formed, it is becomes a borate. So, this becomes alkyl borate. So, likewise, all other R groups will also undergo a similar kind of reaction. 
and it results in three ORs. So probably I will write one more to show you. So this R, B R, okay, O R and now this reacts with peroxide. So peroxide anion is there, it will attack the borane and then it results in the formation of the oxy borane intermediate, okay. So, this has boron negative charge and you have an OR. Now, what we see one of the R groups will change position here. It will go and attach here. It attaches here and then OH leaves. So, as a result, we see boron R is already there. Another OR is already there and the newly formed OR will be formed. So, likewise, the third molecule will also undergo reaction. So, this will happen three times and what we will get will be this particular molecule that is we are having this particular group borates ok. So, this alkyl borate then will react with sodium hydroxide we see sodium hydroxide here. So, the first step is peroxide reaction the second step is reaction of sodium hydroxide. So, this sodium hydroxide will again react the same way like that of the peroxide and we will see slowly each alkoxy group will be removed. So, the alkoxy group that is removed will then be neutralized and if you get the alcohol. Likewise, step by step each of the alkoxy groups will be removed and ultimately we will get three molecules of alcohol and sodium borate. So, this is the overall reaction. So, this trialkyl borate will react with three molecules of sodium hydroxide to form three molecules of alcohol and sodium borate. So, this is the overall reaction of alkene to form alcohol. So, three molecules of alkenes will form three molecules of alcohols. So, this is again with a specific example for you people. So, if you are interested, you can see how the molecule we instead of R, when we put the molecular structure, we get different kind of representation. It is the same thing, uh, nothing difficult. It's just for you to have a look as to how the trialkyl borane is formed and the trialkyl borane becomes borate, trialkyl borate and this trialkyl borate slowly will slowly react and will lead to the formation of the alcohol. So, now coming over to the stereochemistry of this particular reaction. This is a very stereospecific reaction that is something important. So, hydroboration oxidation is a stereospecific reaction in the sense it results in the specific formation of the cis stereoisomer only. It does not form the trans stereoisomer that is the most important thing and this addition is called as syn addition. Now, let us see this particular molecule. It is a very simple representation. So, every time when you are getting a synthetic problem, you cannot go back and draw the equations, the mechanisms uh, to get the desired product. So, here it is very beautifully given to us. Uh, the first step is borane, the second step is peroxide. So, hydrogen from the borane is added and OH from the peroxide is added. That is why we see here uh, the blue and we see the uh, blue color for OH and red color for the uh, hydrogen in the sense uh, hydrogen comes from borane and hydroxide comes from peroxide. So, it is very simple and straightforward. So, uh, the simple logic of hydroboration reaction is addition happens. So, in addition hydrogen is from Di, uh, borane and uh, OH is from the peroxide. That is the first thing. Number two, stereochemistry is syn addition. That is cis products are only formed. It is a stereospecific reaction. And the third thing we know, the product looks like a anti-Marconic of product. It looks like a anti-Marconic of product. So, these are the three major things that you have to look at when you are seeing 
hydroboration oxidation so when you see the starting material we know it is just oh that is going to add h of diborate and oh of the peroxide so as we have already studied that uh, the addition appears like uh, anti marconic of and there is no rearrangement that is more important very important thing is no rearrangement no rearrangement in this particular reaction so there is uh, that makes our uh, understanding or predicting of the product very easily so between the two carbon atoms here we know this carbon one is the highly substituted carbon and so this is where the hydrogen will go the hydrogen will go to the highly substituted so definitely the oh will go to the uh, least substituted carbon atom so this is how addition reaction is going to happen and number two because there is no rearrangement definitely this will be the only product and since we have said it is a concerted reaction and it is a syn addition and it is a cis geometry so both the new substituent will add from the same side that is why you see either it is solid wedge or it is mm, uh, broken uh, dash or a hash so if it is an optically active compound we will get equal mixture of enantiomers okay we will get both plus and minus isomers so they are mirror image isomers what we will get will be mirror image isomers and it will be equal mixture of plus and minus isomers in the sense it will be a racemic mixture so now let us go back to the question that we have discussed here so now in this particular molecule let us go back to understanding so there is no rearrangement and as we have seen earlier or oh, what did i say the hydrogen goes from b so d is instead of hydrogen we are going to have d and then we are, we know oh is coming from the peroxide so d and oh are the two groups so d is from borane and oh is from the peroxide and the first d comes in the first step and oh comes in the second step so because d comes in the first step that is because that is as per our, our marconic of addition and d here is the negative part so as per marconic of addition the negative part of the addendum adds to the carbon atom having the least number of hydrogen atom so here this carbon is having the least number of hydrogen atom so d will definitely go to the carbon that is having least number of hydrogen atom that is here d and of course the second step it is going to be oh it should definitely go to the next and because they are having syn uh, chemistry and they are going to have a cis isomer that is formed so definitely both of them will be from the same side so the product must look something like this so let us go back to the uh, predict uh, the options that are given in the question so the question has four options and in the four option i have highlighted the correct answer so the correct answer matches with the one that we have predicted and of course they are a pair of enantiomers so you put it as plus and minus or racemic mixture so here this is wrong because oh cannot go there this is wrong this the other uh, three options are all wrong so the correct option is the one which we have predicted as per the Mark uh, reactions that we have learned now. Thank you.